Well, today state health leaders addressed COVID's impact on Indiana. There is some good news. The number of positive cases have dropped here in the state for the third straight week. Now, today's briefing took place at the Indigo, Indy car rather, parking lot on 16th Street. That's across from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It's the same location that a weeks long testing and vaccination site is being held through the end of October. Dr. Christina Bach says our seven day positivity rate sits at just under 10%. Now, that's the first time in weeks. She says we could be very well coming out of this Delta surge, but there is still a concern for those who are unvaccinated. She says the number of cases going down, though, is still a good sign. We don't expect these declines to be linear. We may see cases bounce back up and bounce back down. If you look at other states, that's what they see, kind of a sawtooth pattern. That is the nature of this disease. However, a decline for three weeks is certainly a cause for optimism. Health leaders say nearly 56% of eligible Hoosiers are fully vaccinated against COVID-19, but only one third of children ages 12 to 15 are fully vaccinated. Now that COVID testing and vaccination site will be held from noon until 8 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday, again through October 30th. And today's your last chance to get a free Indigo pass by getting your COVID shot. The deal has been going on every Wednesday this month, but you will want to go now because it runs until 2 o'clock at the Carson Transit Center. Now, Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available, and once you get the shot, you'll receive a 31-day access pass for Indigo rides. And with all of the strain from COVID, so many of our healthcare workers say they're mentally and physically exhausted. Over at Community Hospital East, it's all hands on deck right now. So many nurses and caregivers are just getting burned out after dealing with all of this for the past 18 months. Now, hospital officials say new cases have started to stabilize in the last week, and they are just hoping that those numbers start to go down soon. In the past three, four days, I actually come down just a bit. So I'm really hoping we're kind of turning, turning at this point. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm real confident. Now, Community Health actually started a program called Helping Hands to provide some relief for caregivers. Any employee at the director level and above is asked to help out in the hospitals doing things like cleaning and assisting with inpatient care. Well, members of the House of the White House COVID-19 response team say many Americans have received a COVID booster shot at pharmacies this past weekend. Jeff Zentz, who is the COVID response coordinator, says booster preparations at the federal level and state level have really have a really strong start. Just over this past weekend at pharmacies alone, over 400,000 Americans received the additional protection of a booster. And almost 1 million people have already scheduled their booster shots through pharmacies over the coming weeks. All of this comes just days after the CDC cleared a third dose of the Pfizer vaccine for certain groups. The director of the CDC said last week they hope to have recommendations for the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson boosters as soon as the data is available. And there is more movement for Pfizer. The company has officially submitted data to the FDA to get its vaccine approved for kids 5 to 11. Here's what we know. Around 2,000 kids were part of a clinical trial. They received a smaller dose than people 12 and older. But the lower dose still produced a similar response. Pfizer also says there were similar side effects like arm soreness and fatigue. The FDA will take weeks to review the data before making any decisions.